Hi guys, Aldo is here and in this video I'm gonna talk about mounting, creating and manipulating floppy disk images on your modern PC. I work a lot with emulators for old computer machines and I frequently use floppy images around. I have used some disk image software in past but I wasn't satisfied. You don't have uh, much choices because this kind of tools are rare, expensive and hard to find. Also, I prefer to use uh, Libre open source software, so my alternative additionally shrinks. I dig around and eventually I found my winner program. Now I'm gonna show my revelation and method to produce all open floppies with this tool. It's called imdisk and I'm gonna provide for you a download link below. It's a very, very small and simple, but so much useful and straightforward. After downloading and installing uh, this program, the shortcut is added in your control panel. This is a Windows 7 64-bit. Okay, over here we have in this virtual disk driver. I'm gonna open it and see what we have over here. It's a very poor with option, but a very powerful tool for this purpose. This is a latest version, 15 of December 2015. Okay. Now I'm gonna mount new virtual disk over here. Uh, you must select your image file. Over here I have my PTS DOS image file. Okay. I'm gonna put a drive letter A for more convenience and over here I'm gonna select device type as floppy and we are good to go. Over here we have some options for mount new, remove this image, extend size, okay if you want you can format it uh, as a standard drive okay and now in your in my computer over here i'm gonna see my disk image mounted as a physical drive and i have full access to it now i can delete copy or, or do what i need to do with this image okay i'm gonna create a folder like I said this worked like a standard memory device I can delete some file and when I'm finished with my content okay as you can see this is like a standard physical drive over here and when you're finished with your work just select save image over here okay okay now I'm gonna save it as Aldo image and we are done okay now I can remove this image and drive and now the driver is unmounted. Guys, uh, I hope uh, uh, this method will be useful for you. And see you in next video. Have a nice day. Bye.